this video is uh, aimed at showing you how to find the reaction forces in a simply supported uh, truss system. Remember, before we can do anything with the truss, we need to find the reaction forces. In MD Solids, I drew a truss here, as you can see. Um, it's something uh, you can do yourself to um, provide some examples and work them. I want to remind you, though, that I will not necessarily be giving you the angles here. That's something you later on need to find for yourself. Now, the reason I drew it in MD Solids is so that I can look and make sure I've got my correct answers here. Remember, I'm looking for the reaction forces. I'm looking for RAX, RAY, RGY. So let's go ahead and start the example here. Okay. First thing I want to do is uh, look at my truss. I've got a pin here at A and a roller here at G. Um, I labeled it A, B, C, D, E, F, G to correspond to how it's labeled in MD solids. So let's draw my free body diagram. I'm not really worried about the internal structure at the moment, but later on it will become important. So I'll go ahead and uh, draw it in. Each block is worth um, 10 uh, feet. So here at A, I've got a reaction force. Because it was a pin, um, I'm going to have uh, two forces. I'm going to have an RAY and I'm going to have an RAX. Um, this is point B. Um, here at C, I've got a force F1, which is 200 pounds. Um, right here at uh, E, I've got a force F2 that's uh, 400 pounds. And that's F. Um, that was B, I told you. Um, go ahead and finish this, drawing this. Okay. And now at the roller here at G, I have one force. I replace that roller with one force, and that's R, uh, G, Y. So that is my free body diagram. So let's go ahead and start working the problem. Now remember, I'm going to be referring to this free body diagram extensively, so uh, keep it handy. Okay. So that was step one. So step two is uh, looking at the sum of the forces in the x direction and setting them equal to zero. Well, most of these, it's obvious we have one force here in the x direction. That's RAX. So R a x, excuse me, R A X is equal to zero. Okay. That was step two. So step three, we look at the sum of the forces in the y direction and set those equal to zero. Remember y is up and down. So we have one, two, three, four forces that we have to deal with. So let me list those. We've got R A Y. Um, minus F1 because it's uh, pointing down, minus F2 because it's pointing down, plus RGY, it's pointing up, as was RAY. Let's just do a, plug in some numbers here. RAY minus the 200 pounds is indicated on the diagram, minus the 400 pounds, uh, plus RGY equal to zero. Do some collecting here. RAY minus 600 pounds plus RGY equal to zero. And simplified here, we're going to have RAY plus R, excuse me, RGY equals to a positive 600 pounds. Okay. And we're going to call that equation one. Um, equation one because we're going to look at that later. Okay. So now if you remember what step four looks like, step four is summing the moments. So let's do our little label here. Summing the moments equals zero. What do you remember about that? Well first off we have to pick a point that we're going to be summing about 
A looks like a good point. And we also have to declare that counterclockwise is positive. Okay. So now we can uh, look at our free body diagram again. Okay. A couple of things we need to get off our free body diagram. One is we need to look at the line of action of REX and see it passes through um, our point here, zero, uh, point A, which is a zero distance. We look at the line of action of RAY. Okay, that's a zero distance. Now look at F1. That's 10, 20 feet distance. F2. From here, 10, 20, 30, 40 feet. And then we look at the line of action of RGY, and that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet distance. Now remember, we're looking at perpendicular um, distances from the line of action. So it's got to form a 90 degree angle with this imaginary line that we draw through the vector. So uh, while we're here, let's also talk about direction. F1 is making or wanting to make this turn clockwise about point A. F2 is making it want to turn clockwise about point A. So clockwise and clockwise are negative directions for moments. Here, this RGY, if it could turn, would want to make it turn counterclockwise, which as you remember we declared was positive. So with all that information, let's go ahead and do a little work on our problem here. So let's uh, write down RAX times zero distance plus RAY times zero distance, the negative direction from F1, um, it was distance was 20 feet, the negative direction for clockwise for F2, um, it was 40 feet. And we have a positive direction because it was counterclockwise, R, G, Y, and that was 60 feet. And that equals 0. So 0 plus 0 minus 200 pounds times 20 feet minus the 400 pounds times the 40 feet and just carrying this on down RGY times the 60 feet equals 0. 0 and 0 is 0 uh, minus 200 times 20 uh, feet minus 200 pounds times 20 feet is minus 4,000 foot pounds minus uh, 400 pounds times 40 feet is uh, 16,000 uh, foot pounds. And then we still have the RGY that we're carrying down 60 feet equals 0. Um, we're left with combining those minus 20,000 foot pounds plus RGY. We still haven't done anything with that yet. 60 feet equals 0. Add 20,000 foot-pounds to both sides. And we end up with a positive 20,000 foot-pounds. Then divide by 60 feet. And we have RGY equals, um, divide that out, the feet cancel, giving us 1. We're left with pounds, so that's 333 pounds. Okay. Now, our last step here is uh, number 5 is from uh, step number 3, equation 1. So that equation 1, remember it was R-A-Y plus RGY was equal to 600 pounds. Everything going up has to equal everything going down the way of forces. RAY plus the uh, 333 pounds equals the 600 pounds. So RAY equals 267 
pounds. So now we have our third and final answer. Now to make sure that I didn't cheat, let's just look here and recap. Remembering we just said that was RAX, this is RAY, that's what I calculated rounding off, and this was RGY, and we just said that was pounds and pounds and pounds. So we have finished the problem. And all remember, all we've done was calculate the reaction forces of that truss. We have not done any, anything inside that truss. That's for another problem. Thank you, and you have a good day.